St. Paul has 37 new employees and they are being paid to eat. Which makes sense because they're goats. <laughs> now, they just reported to duty at 2 o'clock this afternoon. They're going to help control weed like plants growing in Indian Mounds Regional Park. Our Susan Elizabeth Littlefield explains why St. Paul Parks and Rec decided to hire the four legged helpers. In the middle of the state's capital city, it was a site more suited for a farm. Three dozen goats arrived to their new urban home, greeted by a crowd. They made their presence known. I'm pretty excited. This is a unique opportunity for us. Adam Robbins helped hire the goats. We've been working for years in Indian Mounds Regional Park on maintaining the natural areas, trying to enhance them back to pre-settlement vegetation, and the goats are going to help us with that process. They outsourced the new workers from Jake Langslag's farm in Fairbow. I never in a million years dreamed I'd be a goat wrangler. The ecologist got the idea after noticing how much yard work his own goats were doing. I was just killing myself on the weekends, going out there cutting, getting all tore up and bloody and bleeding. And it's just after I saw them go through and how much joy they had in eating these plants. They will be doing just that for the next few months, living in a Finston six acre area. They're picky in a good way. They tend to really focus in on those invasives. They don't like a lot of the native plants that we have out in the woods. And so we benefit from their preferred palate. And they benefit from the job. I think they have the great quality of life, uh, get to be with their friends, go into all different kinds of parks and, and properties all over the state, and all I have to do is eat. That's all I require. The goats are actually rented from Jake's company, Goat Dispatch. After this, they'll likely end up in another park somewhere else. They're yes. getting into their job. They just jumped right into it this <laughs> afternoon. And why not? They yeah. enjoy it, right? Yeah, uh, eating. Are they raised in any special way? or I, that, that was a question I asked, too. They actually do try to choose well-behaved goats that don't jump fences, rule followers, if you will. But as far as knowing what to eat and what not to eat, they say it's actually intuitive. For these animals, cool. And yeah, it seems like great. it's catching on across the country. We it saw is. a story the other day out in California. They're doing yep. this too. Yeah. He said there's such a big demand for goats right now. All right. How Thank about you. That?